Hello, this is Scott Klein, Senior Technical Analyst. Today I'm going to speak about Nefault Backup and configuring incremental backups. How to configure incremental backups in Nefault. Contents of an incremental or differential backup are always based on a previous backup. Incorrectly configured incremental or differential backups can fail with errors such as fail to find previous full backup set, a backup selection set is required to run this job. Here I will demonstrate on how to create an incremental based off its associated full by using a backup selection set loaded from the full into the incremental. First as you see we'll, we'll go ahead and create a job. There's a title here. This is going to be my full. And I'm going to go ahead and save the selection set. the Scott DIR name. Look for my backup options full, schedule, media for this test. And my backup life will save for one day. I'll go ahead and run this. I should have completed a small directory. Now to create the incremental, I'm going to open up a new screen and basically load that selection set that I just created in and then create incremental options. I'm not going to put a life on the incremental because the incremental is tied to the full via its selection set and also is tied in that way with its backup life. So when the full expires, the incremental that's associated with it will go ahead and expire as well. I'll go ahead and submit this. As you can see here, the full and the incrementals have completed. If you had to view them, you see that it has the Scott DIR selection set. Well, as the incremental having it. That is what ties the incremental to the full. So you need to make sure that you create a selection set name for the backup selection. Now just to show you some more information, if you were to go ahead and create a full without a selection set name and try to create an incremental, I'll show you what happens here. I'm going to create this, select that, no selection set name. So you can use full options, backup options used. And I'll submit that. The full will run and it will complete. Now, if I go back and create an incremental in the same way. Making my same selections, incremental option. Naming it ink. If I go ahead and submit this, you'll see that I'll get an error message. Backup selection set required in order to perform incremental backups. That's what happens when you don't load a selection set from the full to the incremental. So you need to create one in the full and load it into the incremental in order for this to work properly. Within support we often see customers having problems with incremental backups that actually do put in a backup selection set name. But we later find out that the name is not the same. Like for instance on the full they create selections and name it full Scott and possibly on the incremental We'll name it Ink Scott. What happens when you run these? The full will complete. The incremental, however, will not. It'll fail. And you'll get an error message similar to this here, which basically tells you failed to find previous full backup set. A full backup needs to have been performed with the chosen selection set before an incremental backup is possible. 
Incremental backups must always use the same selection set as the full backup on which they are based. So in my demonstration here, if you don't use the same selection set and just use different selection sets selecting the same data, it's still going to fail. That name of the selection set has to be the same from the full loaded into the incremental. You need to ensure that so they tie each other together. To learn more about Netfault Backup, visit quest.com forward slash Netfault hyphen backup. For more video tutorials, visit quest.com forward slash support.